All right, we're finally on the finishing end of this six month long project <laughs> for our firehouse table. Um, so we're doing what they told us to do from West, a sealer coat, real thin coat with the um, foam rollers from West. Um, it's really surprising how much this stuff covers. We filled about that much, about probably like up to here in this cup. It was uh, 20 pumps of each, the, um, the two parts, and it's almost covering half the table. Um, so it really goes far. I was really surprised. And then uh, this is red oak, so you can see it really pops the color, and it pops the color of the uh, our logo that we had printed right on there. Uh, I'll show you the stuff that we used for anybody that's looking this up. We wanted it to be clear, so the 105 resin is what everybody uses, and then we have 207 um, SB for the special clear hardener, and it does dry really clear. Um, so here's a test piece that we did, and it's. There's, don't mind this. We didn't, we didn't get the bubbles out of this one on purpose. We were just testing it, but there it is. We're getting there. All right. Well, we got our sealer coat on, and by sealer coat, we just mean a real thin um, coat of the uh, epoxy. So you don't actually thin it out. You just put it on real thin. Um, so when the wood off gases, it doesn't put a lot of bubbles through your flood pour. So this has been setting up for probably a little over an hour. It's really not many bubbles at all. Um, so I'm going to mix this, they say, for a minute and a half. We usually do two minutes because I'm paranoid. <laughs> and then uh, we're just going to, it'll be our flood pour. Uh, for our sealer coat, we probably use maybe like a quarter to half a cup of that actual cup, and it's covered the whole table and the sides. So this stuff really goes, um, it spreads really well. It covers really well. Let's see if it's better without the sun.